viewers, thank you for joining us in this class. If you are just joining us newly, subscribe to this channel for more of our videos and also click the like button. Here we want to solve this problem, we want to simplify this and uh, from here we can write this again as root, root 49 here can be written as 7 then minus root 48 we can break it down because we can get a perfect you know, number here perfect square so which is 16 now then times 3 because 16 times 3 will give us 48 and from here when we look into this we see that we can break this one you know into two root now and say this will be root 7 now minus root 16 times root 3 and root 16 is 4 so we can write it and say this will be root 7 minus 4 root 3 and uh, we want to use something here now like we break this 7 down into 3 plus 4 so we now have root 3 plus 4 then minus 4 root 3 then also we introduce something here like if I have root 3 squared so it's still the same thing as 3 similarly if I have root 4 squared the same thing as having 4 because here square cancel square root so I want to replace 3 as root 3 ne, square and 4 as well the same way. So we have root 3 squared then plus root 4 also squared then minus 4 root 3 that we have before, before there. Then from here now we can see that here root 4 is 2 and 2 squared is 4 and when I rearrange it I can say this is here we have 2 square which is 4 I can say 4 plus then root 3 let me leave that one squared then here let me leave it as 4 root 3 and from there if I compare it with an identity when we have a minus b squared a minus b squared this one will give us a squared minus 2ab then plus b squared and from here we say our a here is 2 now and when we put 2 here we can see that we have 2 minus root 3 here a is 2 and uh, root 3 is b now and when we square this we have 2 squared and 2 squared is 4 then minus 2 times a which is 2 then times b which is root 3 then plus b squared which is root 3 squared and when we rearrange this we see that it looks like what we have inside this root up here what we have here because if i write this again this will be 4 then bringing this one here we have root 3 then squared then I have minus 2 times 2 that's 4 then root 3 when you compare this with what is inside the root discover they are the same so now we can replace what's inside the root with this with this number here and say we are now going to have equals to root 2 minus root 3 then all square so that's what we have left as our simplification and square here we cancel square root as well and therefore we can conclude that the answer here will now be equals to 2 minus root 3 which is the solution we are looking for so the simplification of our problem is this thank you for joining us and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos see you in the next class and bye for now